Hi guys, good morning. So I'm going to drop my kids now at school, um, but Eva has a presentation as well. So I'll drop her, I'll drop the other kids and I'll go for Eva's presentation. And then after that, I'll be back and start my day. So let's go. This is my outfit. I love these jeans, they're so comfortable. I need to get more mom jeans. And this is my t-shirt. It says tomorrow I'll start running. Yeah, tomorrow I'll start. <laughs> so guys, I'm in my kids' school now and I'm probably one of the first parents to be here because I can't see any other cars. I can see one car, but I don't know why I feel like it's a teacher's car. And I can't see any other cars. And it told us 7 o'clock. I've been here since 7, now it's 7.06 and I've not still seen any other cars. But I'm just going to walk inside now and know what's going on there and see if they are ready. I'll probably just get a seat and see so I can take pictures and videos of my daughter okay of my daughter <laughs> i like when my kids are doing things like this it just makes me feel special Hi guys, so I'm back now and I need to start doing my makeup immediately. Um, the time now is 8.30. My assistant is supposed to be here by now, okay, but she normally resumes by 9 o'clock. But today I told her to come early so that we can set up because we haven't set up yet. Um, we're supposed to remove these chairs, put the normal setup. But let me just quickly do my makeup so that, you know, whatever we finish setting up, we can just start. I won't have to start doing my makeup afterwards. Um, yeah, simple makeup. <music> So I'm done doing my makeup now. My guest will soon arrive. But before she arrives, we're going to set up the place, like bring the chairs and table that I use for filming and, you know, just arrange everywhere. That's before she comes. But anyway, I want to quickly talk to you guys about something that is very, very important, okay? And it's about what you put out online. Yesterday or two days ago, I watched a video. There was this lady that was talking about how, you know, she went online and found out that people had opened like a whole new page on one of these social platforms. Somebody opened a whole new page, you know, with her image, with her videos and stuff and was impersonating her basically and collecting money and all that and all that. And, you know, it got me thinking, I was like, hmm, let me just go and do a quick Google search and see if I'll see my name. You guys, by the time I typed in my name and clicked on search, <laughs> I saw a lot of things about myself that I didn't even know was there. And it was quite scary how accurate these articles were, okay? Anybody can find anything online these days. Like anybody can find out your full legal name, your phone number, your house address, your relatives, your friends. Like all this information are accessible online by data brokers who actually take your information and sell them to robocallers, all these you know, telemarketers, all these you know, spam websites. I don't know about you, but sometimes I receive some kind of emails that I know that I don't know who this person is. I did not give you my email. I did not sign up for this. Why am I getting all these spam emails? Anyway, I have good news and I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura will identify these data brokers that have been selling and exposing your information and it will automatically submit an opt-out request on your behalf. So you're going to stop receiving all those spam emails, all those junk mail, even all those telemarketing lists that you somehow appear to be on even though you didn't sign up for them. You can use my link aura.com slash adeze to try for two weeks and you'll see how many data brokers are actually sharing your information online. Another amazing thing that Aura does is to monitor your emails and your passwords to see if they have been involved in any data breach or they have been exposed on the dark web and it will tell you what to do about this. And even more interesting, the Aura app features VPN, internet parental control, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft, 
monitoring and it also protects your device from malware. I mean, Aura has almost every internet safety tool that you will need all in one app okay that's the beauty about it okay all these things are all in one app you don't need several apps or different apps to do all of these so just let aura do all the hard work for you use my link in the description box to sign up for two weeks free and you'll be shocked at how much of your personal information is actually exposed online okay when you guys do it let me know in the comment section how much of your information that you actually find online like it's crazy guys it's really really scary thank you to aura for sponsoring this this video and yeah let me get back to setting up my stuff because I have a lot to do today okay guys I am done now I'm exhausted I went to pick my kids in between came back filmed with the second person because she came a little bit late because of a lot of factors see this no money thing is actually a big deal it's a big issue but anyway um, yeah so I was I'm done filming now I'm exhausted I'm tired I even changed but I'm ready to go upstairs now I'll just have my bath and then I'll start working on my video I need to go and remove this makeup first before I'll be free to do what I want to do but that's it. That's a day of filming for me. I'm so excited. I was able to, you know, pull it off because I had so many things to do today. But yeah, I'm excited. I feel good. I feel great. I feel happy. And I love the guests that came on today. They were actually very nice guests. I, I love their personalities. I love, you know, what they had to say. So yeah, please go and subscribe to my channel. Reality Check with Adeze. Go and subscribe to that channel where you get the full long episodes but my channel i'm going to be dropping some of the abridged <laughs> abridged version <laughs> i'll be dropping some of the shorter clips here but if you want to watch the full episode and really enjoy the videos then please head over to my channel it's going to be linked down below and also remember to check out the link for aura it is going to be linked down below as well for your two weeks trial and yeah let me know how it goes let me quickly show you guys what is on my background so this is my light i use this light to um, add color to my background um did she put it off oh battery i need to charge it okay and that's oh i also have these candles i forgot these are my yeah they're actually electric candles so I just put them on like this for some background light. I want to put it up. 
That's how you put it up. You just shake it. Then this is my globe. I love having this because I want to be a traveler. So I'm going to, I just have this here to just be looking at places that I'll be going to next. <laughs> then this thing i made this thing some time ago let me know if you remember when i made this thing then i have a flower vase inside and i just put this hanging flower here just for something at the background yeah you guys know those ones this is actually a life plant i bought this plant i wanted to buy i wanted to buy artificial plants and they called 100 and something k for me i just went to one plant person and bought this plant for 4k bought that for three two eight or so um i was looking for baskets to put it in but i couldn't find we're just letting it like that but it matches the floor somehow and then these are my frames these frames are from yuli interior yeah i got these prints from etsy i downloaded the prints like i paid for the prints and got it pdf file and i sent it to yuli interiors and she framed them for me and then this standing lamp i got this one as well because I really wanted that contrast of lighting the background. Yeah, because I really wanted to, you know, light up the background with a warm color. This color, this is actually a color changing lamp. So if you put it on, it changes, put it off, put it on again, different color, put it off, put it on again, different color. So it has white, yellow, and um, what they call the other light, Seth? Cold lights, okay? There's white light, there's yellow light, and there's cold, almost bluish white light. So yeah, I got these chairs from D-Line. Those places at D-Line where they sell furniture, I went into one of the stores there and I got these chairs. I also got this table. I got three of these chairs because I wanted, in case I have like two guests, they both have places to sit. And this is my light. I have two of these lights, but I use one. You guys know this light. If you watch my office setup video, I'm sure you'll see these lights there. So I have two of these lights. Then I have two cameras. So that is one camera for one angle. And this is another camera for a different angle. Just so that it will give that, you know, different angle vibes. Like looks professionally made. Even though there's, <laughs> there's no professional here, okay? <laughs> All these things are just me doing them by myself. I mean, if I was to hire someone or to try and get a studio to do all of these things, it's going to cost me way more. I just had to improvise and do things for myself and just DIY it, okay? Because, <laughs> my dear, <laughs> this our business is like it's almost like a one-man business, okay? Even though I hired an assistant, which is paying off really well because she's one that helps me with the second angle. So having that assistant is paying off really well, but almost everything is still on my head. I still film my videos myself, I still edit my videos myself, you know, I still control my channel, reply comments, stuff like that. I still do most of it myself. So it's not easy, but it's worth it, okay? Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes so that you guys will see what I am working with because I kept getting comments about, oh, I love your setup, beautiful setup, I love the video quality. Thank you. I'm filming my videos with my M50 camera. So I have an M50 camera. That's what I've been using for the longest time. Okay, I have this M50 and three lenses. I have the 50, 56 mm lens. I have the 30 mm lens and the 16 mm lens. Right. So when I wanted to start this show, this podcast, this whatever I'll call this, I decided to buy another 50 mm so that I can use some of the lenses there. So I'm using my 30 mm lens. That's the 30mm lens here, and I'm using this 16mm. So this is my main lens, and that's my supporting lens. So, yeah, that's basically what I used to film. Um, I think the whole lighting and ambience is what makes the video quality look very good. It's not like I'm using a very expensive camera. It's just the everything else, okay, is nice, so the video will come out nice. That's basically a, a 101 of photography. <laughs> That's photography one one. You guys need to pay me for these tips I'm giving you, okay? If you can make your environment really nice and just clean your lens, you can actually film with almost anything. But I'll always say go for at least a good camera. You don't have to go for an expensive camera, but go for a good camera. But yeah, that's it. That is my whole background setup. And that's what I do in a day of filming. My face is so oily. <sighs> anyway. 
let me know what you guys think about this video let me know if you enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you all in my next video bye